This is a video for Tammy Pollard and Liz Halliday and all the connections of Gigi. Well, girls, the uh, your mighty mare's settled in well at the farm here in Windura. Um, you know, we've sort of uh, been gently chipping away at her work. Uh, the first couple of weeks was just a lot of hacking, um, a lot of just walking and uh, getting, uh, getting to know each other. And uh, she was a little bit excited and fresh at the beginning, but she settled in well. Uh, and then our basic training sort of been slowly but surely increasing her sort of trot work on our, on our big track. And she's uh, up to jogging on the track uh, about 20 minutes. And we, we sort of do that every second or third day. And in between those days, I've just started working away with her on the flat. Obviously, she's not going anywhere near as well as she was um, earlier this year with Liz. But... Um, I've just started with sort of basic, simplistic, straightforward flat work. Uh, I haven't even got sitting trot on her. Uh, more just trying to get to know her. Um, she, she sort of leans a little bit on the inside rein both ways, more on the left. Uh, so I've been sort of working away, doing a little bit of leg yields and pushing her um, away from the inside shoulder a bit. Um, I love her, but she is a little bit spicy and a, a little bit spooky. Um, she often finds the one place on the arena to uh, to spook at. Uh, so I've sort of had to had to uh, understand like she's a she's a tiny little bit sharp and uh, she's got her own opinion, uh, which I love. She's hugely athletic. She's very feminine. Uh, she's obviously a beautiful mover and uh, very very exciting young horse. I haven't jumped her yet, but. Um, from what Peter tells me, she's a crazy good jumper. So it's, uh, I'll probably start jumping a little bit in, in um, December, once we just get her a little bit fitter and slightly stronger. And she takes a bit to get settled in, but she's uh, starting to take a breath and relax and sort of enjoy, enjoy the new surroundings. I think, um, I love her type. Like she just looks like a just a pure athlete. Beautiful walk, trot, and canter. And um, I don't know. She's nice to be around, and she's very feminine. And uh, I don't know. There's a, a lot to like about her disposition, and obviously, I love her um, her confirmation and everything like that. Um, so basically, yeah, she goes out on the, the track every two or three days. She goes hacking every day for 30 or 40 minutes. And then and then this trot work, we've got this long track that has a, a bit of an uphill and a downhill. And I think this time of the year, we're just more, you know, getting to know each other and building a, a bit of a bond or a partnership. I think we'll probably head down to Aiken in the middle of January or the third week in January. And... Uh, down there, I'm sure when we arrive there, she's going to be wild, uh, fresh, like a lot of them are. And then as uh, by the time we get to February, I think she'll be settled down again. And uh, she's a quick learner. Um, I think she must have been on a treadmill before because we've sort of been doing a bit of treadmill training with them all. And uh, she got the hang of it pretty quick. Uh, so going back to next year, I don't have too much of a game plan just yet, but my guess is we'll do one or two little mini events down in um, down in Aiken. There's a good little jumping show down there, and um, I've got to get the hang of her jumping and obviously her cross country, and we'll, we'll take it to one or two little horse trials down there. Um, she loves the pond. A few of them were a bit skeptical getting in the pond, and uh, Gigi loved it. She was racing to get in there, and she marches around. You don't have to. A lot of them you have to sort of kick a bit and, and tap along to keep them going, but uh, Gigi loves it. Anyway, girls, I uh, hope you're well. Liz, I hope you're hanging in there, mate. Uh, we're thinking of you. And uh, you've got, a, obviously, a lovely, lovely horse here, mate. So uh, hang in there and uh, keep pushing forward.